So let's begin with uh, the real J mains questions of the topics SN1, SN2. We'll start with question one. And as I keep telling you, so many times they'll write the name and they'll have to draw the structure of the compound. So question one is about, question one is about two methyl propyl bromide. I think you all are good at drawing two methyl propyl bromide, two methyl propyl bromide and it's treated with ethoxide to produce A and ethanol to produce B. I did tell you along with the solution of the question, we'll go to take some experience with every question, which would be, in this case, comparing the nucleophilicity of, say, the anion and a neutral molecule. Now, please respond to this. Don't you think any anion is going to be a stronger nucleophile and eventually a stronger base than the neutral compound? Yes or no? Yes or no? Hydroxide more than water, alkoxide more than alcohol. And anion is always going to be a stronger nucleophile because an anion will have more electron density. Ask me, I hope you can hear me loud and clear. Yes, sir. And with a stronger nucleophile, with a stronger nucleophile, SN2 will be facilitated. I again repeat, I think you are being able to understand me. SN2, if it's a stronger nucleophile, and naturally, if it's a stronger nucleophile, if I conclude an SN2 resulting in A, and with an alcohol, which is neutral and relatively weaker nucleophile, and SN1 giving you B, with this, we'll end up getting the right solution, the right answer to this question, because only one option, you know, would uh, relate to SN2 producing A and SN1 producing B. In due course, SN2, and there is no rearrangement, thereby, A looking like this, with the incoming ethoxide taking up the same position as left by the outgoing Br minus, and SN1, with rearrangement, producing this, because in this rearrangement, involving a carbocation, in this rearrangement involving a carbocation, you will expect a one degree carbocation to become a more stable three degree carbocation by a 1,2 hydride shift. I mean, there's something we have been doing over a long period of time. And this is C2H5OH minus H plus. Yes or no? This will act as the nucleophile, will come in the second step via carbocation molecular rearrangement. This would be unfortunate if at this point of time, I have to tell you what's isobutyl what tertiary butyl, big time you remember this. This is isobutyl ethyl ether, isobutyl ethyl ether, and naturally this is tertiary butyl ethyl ether. We'll want to talk about question two now. We'll want to talk about question two now, which is relatively easier. Question two is going to be relatively easier. I think I've been able to explain question one. Question two is relatively easier. And I mean, this is very routine. One bromobutane, one bromobutane with Alcoholic KOH with alcoholic KOH would give you an alkene with NaCN or KCN would give you 
a cyanide, yes or no? You remember with silver cyanide, it will give you isocyanide. With cases in the scene, it will give, give you a cyanide. Another name for a cyanide is nitrile. With AgNO2, it will give you a nitro compound, a nitro alkyl. And with CS3COOAG, ag with CS3COOAG. Now, CS3COOC, every time what you need to do in a halkyl halide is you want to attack it here, remove BR. So basically, it's nucleophilic substitution only. And eventually, if it's CS3 feedable bond O, and any any alkyl group, in this case, a uh, butyl group, it's an ester only. So very routine, I repeat. This is an ester. I'll want to write this reaction one more time here because it might not be visible to everyone. Yes, I get a acid. CFT double bond O butyl group is an ester only. Yes or no? RC will want to respond with a yes or no. Yes. Yes. We'll move to question three. We'll want to move to question three. We'll want to move to question three. We'll want to move to question three. Asmit, you have joined a little late. In question one, it was about a compound reacting with ethoxide and ethanol. Ethoxide is a stronger nucleophile than ethanol. If you can take a screenshot, you can do that. Otherwise, I told you an anion is a stronger nucleophile than a neutral compound. I mean, this is very, very fundamental. An anion will have more negative charge density, will be a stronger nucleophile. So with ethoxide, expect an SN2 without a rearrangement. With ethanol, expect SN1 with a rearrangement. One to hydride shift, a more stable carbocation. And we'll want to talk about question three. I can remove this letter. Achha, to two ka finally kya hua? Two ka? Two ka B Bombay. Two ka B Bombay. Two ka B Bombay. Question three. Question three. Sir, Again, you know, uh, Asmit, you are saying option C. Somebody saying option C. OME is like methoxy here. Anyone with a different answer or more of you say option C? Option C? Now, this is benzyl. This is benzyl. Benzyl carbocation is still right? At the same time, for benzyl allyl, I don't pull out SN2. I say for benzyl allyl, SN1, SN2, both are very feasible. Tell me, with OCH3, with OCH3, what effect do you expect? Plus R. I would want everybody, you know, to... to Respond and repeat till the point is instinctive. People who end up doing good in organic chemistry are the ones you know you keep, who keep on reiterating plus R. And you all remember a plus R would stabilize the carbocation. But NO2, what you expect is minus I to you, but I will want to say minus R. The para position for the minus R. Minus I would be a weaker force compared to minus R. Para position for evidence hota hai minus R. And what can minus R do is, it can make this positive more positive. Imagine, you know, if it's getting more positive, if it's getting more positive, then it's not stabilizing the positive charge. A plus R would make it more less positive and stabilize the carbocation. But a minus R would make it more positive. And if it's making it more positive, if it's making it more positive, it's more inviting for a nucleophile. I've used this language before. Any factor which makes a nucleophile more nucleophilic, which could be a more positive charge here, triggered by a minus R effect, in due course it will become very, very instinctive. Plus R, plus I, hyperconjugation would seem like a carbocation for this stability SN1, where the minus R, minus I would make SN2 more likely. And the first one, the first one, 
being a first order reaction and the second one being a second order reaction would mean with question three, I'll go with option C. If there is a doubt, please tell me. Otherwise, we'll want to move on. Question four. We have four compounds given. So what's the most, most popular answer for question four? B, Bombay. You know, you'll want Sir, to take option it, tell me one by one. Yes, please, Asmit, you have an answer? Sir, option B. B, Bombay also? Yes, sir. Now, in this compound, bromine A and bromine B, which bromine is more likely to be reacting? Bromine A. Because? Because? Because it's benzylic. Because it's benzylic. Because it's benzylic. In the second one, Yet again, between iodine A and iodine B, which is more likely to react? A. Iodine A, because it's allylic. Those who don't say that, they're stupid. Those who say that, they're stupid. They say that, sir, doubt, there's a problem. What do we do? Here is the problem of solution. You will say that, as much as you say, as much as you say, as much as you say, bromine is here. Bromine A और यहाँ पर है Bromine B. B जाएगा. एक तो B C degree भी है और दूसरा A Bridgehead है. So Bridgehead is absolutely no no. Bridgehead is absolutely no no. So B जाएगा. C degree भी है. That is also an advantage. And in the fourth compound, in the fourth compound which will look like Bromine A being 3 degree and bromine B being 1 degree, naturally 3 degree would be more reactive because we're talking about relative SN1. And option B in that case is the right option. So these are multiple questions, real J questions within reach. I think you're all happy with this. We'll want to move to question five. We'll want to move to question five. Sir, option A. So I, I present you the real exam question exactly in the manner they have come in the exam so many times. I tell you it could not be to your liking. They could have given other statements. So many statements about SN1, SN2, I end up telling you, you find it in popular textbooks. But before everything, if it is RCH2Br or halide with I minus in acetone becoming RCH2I, what is the name of this reaction? Finkelstein. This reaction is named Finkelstein reaction. It's called Finkelstein reaction. Now, I minus is a strong nucleophile. Acetone right away is a protein, and all of these are very prominent signs of. SN2. There is something which I do not endorse, but before option A, I would want to talk about option B, C, and D, which I think would be absolutely no no for an SN2. Like in option B, they tell you the reaction can occur in acidic acid. Now, acidic acid is protic. Acidic acid is protic. This is protic. Protic means hydrogen attached to oxygen, nitrogen, and all, which is which is used for an SN1 uh, reaction. So B is not good for SN2. The solvent solvates the ants in the determining step. That's again for a carbocation being solvated by a polar solvent, which is again a state of SN1. Br minus can act as a competing nucleophile. Is not no good. Is good because I minus is a much stronger nucleophile than Br minus. And the nature of nucleophile will matter only for SN2. Had it been SN1, you know they could have competed because in SN1 that is a fast check. So Br minus I minus could be competing in an SN1, but in SN2, I minus would be much stronger nucleophile than Br minus. So BCD being ruled out. Yes, Sorry? Uh, NA ke saath ne ka ka precipitate nahi Sodium salt to be precipitate hota hai <coughs> Option A mein bolte hai, 
the transitory state, the transition state is less polar than the localized ion. Now you know that this is the transitory state. Uh, X minus and Y minus partially attached with a, a carbon which is partially positive would obviously be less polar than, would le obviously be less polar than X minus or Y minus. In this case, Br minus and I minus. That goes without saying. Yes or no? So this is like eliminating the options which are not possible. A is not a great statement, but you know, we'll go with it because this is the one which will suit us into question six. Sir, option A. Very good. Very good. C6H5-Holthry, CCL, OH minus, pyridine. Whatever is the product, whatever is the product. C6H5-Holthry, COH. Now, when I write, when I write, when I write C6H5-Holthry, CCL, this would come to your mind right away. Triphenyl carbocation, triphenyl carbocation, triphenyl methyl carbocation, bolenge. Naturally, it will be very, very stable. It will be very, very stable. And if it is very, very stable, this would be via SN1. Yes or no? And how many of you say option A right? How many of you say option A right? Anirban? Naturally, this is about rate of the process proportional to C6H5 whole thry CCL to the power 1. All right. SN1 ka matlab, the rate will be proportional to RCL, which will mean it will be like 40 to 5 degrees. And we'll want to move on. Question 7 may assertion reason type the question that I have to generally share of some data. Both A and R are correct and R is the correct explanation. A and R are correct but R is not the correct explanation. A is right, R is wrong. A is wrong, R is right. Are these four options? So I avoided writing all four. So you know you just want to tell me about the two statements which are there. Seven, assertion is hydrolysis of a chloride, hydrolysis of a chloride is promoted in presence of NaI. Now, when I write NaI, I obviously mean Na plus and I minus. So what do you think? Is this a true statement or not? What do you think? Is it, is it a right statement or not? Again, the reason would be a very apt reason. It says I minus is a stronger nucleophile or a strong nucleophile and a good leaving group. Now, let me very quickly remind you a few things. Si happens to be the strongest hydrazid. Si happens to be the strongest hydrazid and that naturally, you know, this is something which I must have said so many times. If there's the order of affinity, then Cl minus more than Br minus, I minus more than Br minus more than Cl minus will be the order of specificity. Yes or no? And this is the only case where we talk about members of the same group, where nucleophilicity is the reverse of basicity. And which is a more authentic term between nucleophilicity and basicity? Basicity is affinity is a thermodynamic term. Yes or no?
this is the order of acidity. Yeah. So this is the order of basicity. And this is the order of nucleophilicity. I'm sorry about this. I'm not keeping F minus into frame because you know that would be not required. I minus, I minus, therefore, is a strong nucleophile but a poor base. Yes or no? Generally, a strong nucleophile is a strong base. Generally, a strong nucleophile is a strong base because nucleophilicity follows basicity. Yes, I'm talking about this before. I'm talking about this before. I'm talking about this before. I'm talking about nucleophilicity follows basicity. In this case, nucleophilicity is the reverse of basicity. I never say the reverse because basicity is a more authentic term. And every time I tell you that the leaving tendency or the leaving nature is about coming out, I always say it's the reverse of basicity. I'm talking about nucleophilicity. Yes or no? So generally, basicity and nucleophilicity are of the same order, but when they are opposite, you know, you'll want to remember that originally it's in terms of basicity. So I minus happens to be a strong nucleophile and a good leaving group. You're getting me? Now, what will a strong nucleophile do? A strong nucleophile would do this very very readily, this will happen very readily. You have no objection to this because this is nucleophilic substitution? Yes or no? Yes or no? And then, there is also nucleophilic substitution. And between I minus and Cl minus, I minus is a better leaving group? I minus is a better leaving group? Yes or no? So hydrolysis of iodide will be faster than hydrolysis of chloride? Yes or no? I mean, these are small little things. Half the time, people do not know the difference between nucleophile and basicity. And this is where, before I start all of it, I tell you exactly about what is basicity, what is nucleophilicity. Generally, the two sound same, behave same. But something like I minus will be a stronger nucleophile and a weaker base, and a weaker base is going to be a good leaving group. So it would convert a chloride into iodide very readily, and iodide would be very easily becoming a hydroxide, you know, faster than a chloride because iodide is a stronger, better leaving group than Cl minus. Yes or no? Generally, a strong nucleophile is a strong base. Iodide is a case of a strong nucleophile and a very weak base and a good leaving group. So the presence of NaI is going to facilitate because I minus is a stronger nucleophile and a good leaving group. So both are true, both are true, and R is the correct explanation. Both are true, and R is the correct explanation. You're getting me? Both are true, and R is the correct explanation. But you know, what are Asmat, Asni. Yes, sir. And then there will be sitters like this with sodium cyanide. You'll get cyanide, and with silver cyanide, you'll get isocyanide, and this will be like oxygen. Go ahead, tell me about question nine. Nine again, inactive towards SN2 or SN1. Both. And option C would look again all right. Option C would again look all right because it would look like a bridge head. I think everybody is comfortable with nine. Nine to sublook kar liya tha na? Nine to sublook kar liya tha. Nine no ke problem nahi tha. Yes, sir. 10, who will tell me the right answer? 10. Option A. Yes, A sounds good. A sounds good. A sounds good. And trust me, I don't think these questions are very challenging. And this is where being good in chemistry or organic chemistry could be such an edge in the entrance exam 
because it does not happen in math or physics. Where you know from a very basic fact regarding a reaction mechanism, you could simply pick the right option. I mean, PHS minus, PHS minus would naturally be a stronger nucleophile than O minus. S minus is more nucleophilic than O minus. In question one, we considered each of side to carry out SN2. In this case, PHS minus is certainly a stronger nucleophile than O minus. And when it came comes to DMF, it's a protic and a protic nature would conform SN2. And the least you would want to know about SN2 is it would carry out inversion. So something which was above in form of a wedge would be below in form of a dash and between an alkyl and aryl halide. Naturally, alkyl is more reactive, aryl is less reactive. This NO2 is obviously to confuse someone. You will not want to get confused with this. You know, first of all, it's not even at the uh, ortho para position. A little bit of minus I would not make it that reactive. And generally, between aliphatic and aromatic, you'll want the aliphatic to react quickly. Question 10, are you all happy with 10? Yes, sir. We'll talk about 11 now. We'll talk about 11 now. We'll talk about 11 now. I think I've done Williamson's research in thesis with you. I think I've done Williamson's research in thesis with you. Anirban, you would learn it sooner than later. I did it in the class. It's not recorded that well. But basically, the three degree halide is where you can, you know, draw the conclusion. Come on, tell me what is the most popular answer? Sir, option A. No, A is not right. A is not right. D. D Delhi. How many of you say D Delhi? I would have wanted more arms race. I would have wanted more arms race. People not being able to solve this. Really need some introspection. You know, this is as simple as it sounds. In three degree, something would want to act as a base than a nucleophile because it's crowded. And in this case, it's also a nucleophile or base which is pretty sterically hindered. I tell you about the difference between a nucleophile and a base. A nucleophile has to go to the carbon which is having the leaving group. You know, that's sterically more challenging. Whereas a base has to go to the next carbon, simply steal the hydrogen and go out. So this woman has would naturally rob this hydrogen, rob this compound of this alpha hydrogen, and eventually give you a product with the IUPAC name 2 with help proponine option B, option B. You know, not being able to solve D at this point of time is questionable. Three degree halide may elimination is always preferred over substitution. 3 degree halide may elimination is always preferred over substitution. 3 degree halide may elimination hota hai yaad rakhne ka. Bache log haana bolo. Yes. 3 degree halide may elimination hota hai. 11 D Delhi. Twelve. Twelve, tell me. Twelve. 
Yes, please. B Bombay. Anyone with a different answer? See, A, B, C, all the three would look likely because with this being locked, a positive charge here and it can resonate. OS can come here or OS can come here and the hydride shift will make it a CDV card over 10. So OS can go there as well. Which is, say, A, B, C. B, huh? Yes, please? I think B. Huh, because, you know, you have started understanding me better than the rest. Can you explain why D? Very good. Excellent. Excellent. So now, one time, 12 will mark the mark. One time, 12 will mark the mark. Because, you know, this is the difference between theory and problem solving. When I tell you, Rx with aqueous NaOH or KOH giving you ROH and with alcoholic KOH giving you an alkene, this is very, very cliche by now. Everybody knows this. Alcoholic KOH, KOH is an alkene. And there's something, you know, very, very fundamental. It's a reaction where the medium would have a say. And when they give you alcohol in form of ethanol, you lose sight of it. Now, that is a problem you'll have to remember that it's alcoholic anyway. So many times, you know, you, you would want to keep it simple. You know, think over it. It's got to give you an alkene. And naturally, this alkene would be such that the two pi bonds are in resonance, which is often D. Sorry, you are right. D is because it's an alcohol. Question 30. Sir, option D. 13, again, somebody is telling me D. Sir, option D. Yes, please. Now, a few things about silver nitrate. I might have told you in the past. Silver nitrate is a very, very common, it's a very, very common lab reagent. You know why? Because it's soluble. You know why? Because nitrates are soluble. Hello? Sir, I'm going to call you after three minutes. Sir, I'm going to call you after three minutes. So, silver nitrate is a very common lab reagent because all nitrates are soluble. Whereas, whereas, AGCL, AGBR, AGI, AG2SO4, AG2S, AG2C are for the wonderful red chromate. Generally, chromates are yellow. This is black. This is white. Bromide is yellow. AG-cell is 30 white precipitate. And I can go on and on. They're all precipitates. They're all precipitates. So when you have so many silver precipitates, you know what's the use of silver nitrate on the lab reagent is? You can use silver nitrate to precipitate chloride, bromide, iodide, sulfide, sulfate, phosphate. You getting me? So many wet tests Precipitates could be performed for so many acrylic radicals using silver nitrate. Yes or no? The last time I would have told you about silver nitrate would be when I'm talking about aromaticity, and I tell you that this compound, which is called cyclohexa, cyclohepta triinyl chloride or bromide, would be very reactive, would be very reactive. And with silver nitrate, it would give, give you an instant precipitate of AgCl. Instant precipitate of AgCl. Because, you know, this is very, very stable. Propylium, propylium. You remember this propylium? Cyclo, hepta, trinyl, catan, aromatic. You remember this? You remember this? Propylium, propylium carbocatan is aromatic. So, what do you, what do you, 
right away go to right away think of in a problem where you are given silver nitrate you think about silver taking out cl minus br minus and you know eventually i'll add all of it and give you uh, another term which you know would be which might be known to you already we end up calling ag plus a strong lewis acid we end up calling it a strong lewis acid what is a base which donates lone pair a base donates lone pair for lewis acid would be good at taking lone pair so ag plus is very good at at grabbing br minus cl minus acidic radical something which is good at grabbing an ion could be called a strong lewis acid a base would donate lone pair and acid would imbibe a lone pair so ag plus is a strong lewis acid silver nitrate is a common lewis uh, common lab reagent i don't know i'm teaching you organic chemistry or inorganic chemistry or you know all of it are clubbed together but the moment you see agno3 you think about ag precipitating and a carbocation in the picture sn1 or i'm teaching you sn1 now in this case it's not about sn1 it's about carbocation it's about carbocation it's about carbocation now at some point of time i teach you that this carbocation is more stable than this carbocation this might be 3 degree this might be 1 degree does not matter stabilized by resonance yes or no you remember me telling you this i mean again it could be a part of a class in resonating structures in resonating structures you are taught in resonating structures you are taught that oxygen positive is not stable oxygen positive is not stable hey i am going to tell you structure 1 and structure 2 and i'll tell you that one is more stable because oxygen positive not stable se pehle ek rule hota hai wo rule hota hai ki all nucleus should have octate yahan par iska octate incomplete hai to ek din na main resonance ka sara rules bata dunga ye stable hai ye main actually padha tha when i was talking about ntmr without peroxide there was a class where i was talking about ntmr without peroxide and every time you had a more stable carbocation on a less branch carbon हेलो इनको भी क्लास में कॉल करते एक घंटा में ना हम कॉल करते नहीं क्लास में फोन करते आपको ना ठीक है तो बिटवीन स्ट्रक्चर वन एंड स्ट्रक्चर टू स्ट्रक्चर वन इज मोर स्टेबल all the you know oxygen positive is less stable because you know in one at least uh, in two at least in two all nuclei have fulfilled octate yes or no yes or no so you know i am i'm ending you ending up telling you a lot of peripherals yes हाँ दूसरा बात सुनो 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 लेट मी कंप्लीट हैव आई एवर टोल्ड यू बिटवीन नाइट्रोजन एंड ऑक्सीजन नाइट्रोजन इज अ बेटर डोनर हाँ मतलब एक सिंपल सा चीज ये समझ के रखना चाहिए कई पर लिख लो नाइट्रोजन डोनेट नाइट्रोजन इज अ बेटर डोनर नाइट्रोजन इज अ बेटर डोनर देन oxygen nitrogen is a better donor than oxygen it's not about the count oxygen ke paas do lone pair nitrogen ke paas ek hi lone pair hai so it's not about the count and i'll tell you the easiest way to remember this is i mean we all know between ammonia and water ammonia is a stronger base yes or no yes or no i mean you never forget this nobody forgets this ammonia is a stronger base than water means nitrogen has a higher 
proclivity of donating its loan payers and oxygen, yes or no? So these two structures are stable, but again, between these two structures, the second structure is more stable because nitrogen is a better donor and the donating tendency, the donating tendency is stabilizing the carbocation, yes or no? So AG NO3 may AG plus a strong Lewis acid as Cl minus Br minus 4 Jaldi Lene cost like proclivity was a medical positive charge for compare current acidity or positive next to nitrogen is more stable than positive next to oxygen. So we'll be left only with option A, D, A, C, and D. And naturally, if nitrogen ka loan pair ke saath mein resonate kar rahe, that will be less available than a nitrogen. You know, in, in, in a scenario like and this will give you a carbocation like this, it will give you a carbocation like this. The clone pair can either go into the ring or out, you know. So this is divided. Cross conjugation yes, how is yeah, but this is only one way to go, this is going to be more stabilizing. So option D would be right, yes or no? Option D would be right, yes or no? We'll want to talk about questions 14. We'll want to talk about questions 14. So option D. Again, 14 is relatively easier. I would expect everyone to give me the answer to Sir, option D, question number 14. Fourteen, I expect everybody to tell me. Sir, option D. D sounds good. D sounds good. The way you can explain D. And what's the cover? Bulldog, Bulldog. That he'll want to say something. Why not? That's the problem. My Bulldog, I would want everybody to explain 14 to me. It's as simple as it looks. The longer you refuse to speak and, you know, be very prompt about these small little facts. Yes, that's will tell me. 14. So clearly, Jor se bolna. Ah. Ah. So basically, ye vinyl hai. Aur ye resonate karta hai. Earth resonating character do hoga, resonating hybrid do hoga. Iska resonating hybrid hoga. Usme ye carbon or ye chlorine ke beach me double bond character hai. Or ye double bond character ki wajay se 
bond length will be shorter bond energy would be more bond stability would be more and naturally this will be less react so many times it's always good you know to keep on talking in terms of resonance vinylic double bond character shorter bond greater bond energy more bond stability lesser reactivity it will to help you trust me 15 sir option c 15 may you know they give you a kind of mechanism pertaining to sn1 and in sn1 out of statements 1 2 3 and 4 1 2 and 3 would look all right the reaction is favored by weak nucleophile is all right because of strong nucleophile will favor sn2 yes or no r plus would be easily formed the substituents are bulky with more bulky substituents with more branching plus i hyper conjugation would be more and carbocation would be stabilized reaction is accompanied by racemization that is true although there is there is not 100% racemization but sn1 causes racemization and the reaction is favored by non polar solvents is wrong because it's favored by polar solvents and 1 2 3 being being right option c would be right you have a doubt you can ask me help help will move on 16 is a very interesting problem sir option d is very nice ha huh? sir option d d for dog d for delhi boli ami tumi d for dog keno bolte jaicho bhai ha a for apple b for ball c for cat d for dog devesh babu kya bole d se divid bhi hota hai kaun bol raha hai abhi and if people are good at it that dolak dolak I did hold up for. Come on, tell me. Somebody says D Delhi. Anyone with a different answer? Sixteen. B. Why B? देखो 16 में ना रितिशा यू हैव एन आंसर टू 16 डी बट वाई डी देखो पहला बात तो ना रिटेंशन ना एस एन वन में होता है ना एस एन टू में होता है एस एन वन में रेसमाइजेशन होता है एस एन टू में इन्वर्सन होता है रिटेंशन तो मैं सिर्फ एस एन आई में बताता हूँ एस एन आई और तो ऐसे नहीं तुम्हारे अभी जवाब हो नहीं ऐसे नहीं सुने छो एक बोल कहीं ना टू टॉक टू मी अपनी क्लास एसोसिएट टू थर्मल क्लोराइड सिर्फ एक रिएक्शन में ऐसे नहीं पाया था हो सकता और मैं पढ़ाऊं भी नहीं या बहुत बाद में पढ़ाऊं तो रिटेंशन का मतलब तो एस एन वन एस एन टू से नहीं होता है डी होगा डी क्यों होगा रिटेंशन या तो होगा अगर एस एन आई जैसा मैकेनिज्म होगा या फिर तुम लोग को एक चीज समझ में नहीं आता है कि मान लो कायरल कार्बन के ऊपर में रिएक्शन ही नहीं हुआ डी में देखो इसका ऑप्शन डी राइट क्यों है ये कायरल कार्बन है अगर कायरल कार्बन के ऊपर में रिएक्शन हुआ ही नहीं एक वन डिग्री एस के ऊपर वर्ष माइनस आर अधिक न्यूक्लियोफाइल है सो नेचुरली कैरलिटी इज रिटेन एंड यूल वॉन्ट टू नोट इट डाउन ये लिख लो कैरलिटी इज रिटेन इफ बॉन्ड अराउंड कायरल कार्बन आर नॉट ब्रोकेन
अरे कुछ भी होगा तब ना जब बॉन्ड टूटेगा ये ना एक बहुत अच्छा क्वेश्चन है एक ट्रिकी क्वेश्चन है जहां पे बोला रिटेंशन कहां पर होगा एंड नो पीपल वुड हैव गॉन विद देयर ओन आइडियाज ऑन लेफ्ट दिस क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो इट्स अ वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन इफ यू गो बाय द सिंपल थॉट एंड वी आर गोइंग टू सी दिस मोर ऑफन यू नो वी आर गोइंग टू वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लोर ऑल ऑफ दिस वेरी वेरी ऑफन व्हेन व्हेन वी आर ऑन द वर्ज ऑफ यू नो कंप्लीटिंग मोर टॉपिक्स At some point of time, when we'll be doing synthetic conversions, you know, it would be a very routine thing. So, with more time spent, more distance travelled, you'd know it better. Maybe this is the first time I'm telling you, and I'll tell you this requires no out of the box thinking. It's as simple as it looks. ये carbon यहाँ पर है, ये carbon यहाँ पर है, और यहाँ पर कई सी double bond O है चें. इसमें एक एल्कोहल डाले एसिड एल्कोहल मिलकर ईस्टर बनाया तो ये जो रिटेंशन होगा ये हमेशा ये सोनो ये ये तो बात समझ में आ ही रहा है कि वहां पर स्टेरिफिकेशन हो रहा है दूर हो रहा है दूसरा कार्बन पर हो रहा है इस कार्बन से कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ रहा है तो पैरालिटी रूल रिटेन होता ही है क्यों क्यों कोई चेंज होगा जब उस कार्बन के ऊपर में अटैक ही नहीं हो रहा है यू गेटिंग मी सॉरी It will, it will, it will not be B because in B, whether you have SN one or you have SN two, there will be some change. You know, either you will get one product or the other product. See, both in SN one or SN two, you can't guarantee retention. You are getting me? Seventeen. Sir, option B, Bombay. Seventeen, sir. Option B. Now B sounds very nice. B sounds very nice because it's about comparing the stability of a benzyl carbocation, and then you'll want to hear me out. It's a methoxy, and a meta position. पर ध्यान से देखना. और ये जो मिथाइल है, वो पैरा पोजीशन पर है. और ये जो ओ सी एस थ्री है वो भी पैरा पोजिशन पर है मान लो एक मिसाइल को किसने और लगा वो दैट इज नॉट वेरी सिग्निफिकेंट बच्चे लोग हा ना बोलो हाँ ओ सी एस थ्री विथ ओ सी एस थ्री वो डिफेक्ट डू यू एक्सपेक्ट You call it plus M or plus R? With C H three, what effect do you expect? Plus I के पहले hyper conjugation बोलने का आदत डालो, big time. कि तुम plus I के पहले hyper conjugation बोलो. मैं एक दो class पहले कितना बार strongly बोला कि hyper conjugation is a stronger force than inductive effect. Inductive effect is there, but plus I के पहले plus H C बोलते हैं. मेटा पे रेजोनेंस काम नहीं करता है मेटा पे रेजोनेंस काम नहीं करता है अनिल बार इटा जानो मेटा से सुधु इंडक्टिव इफेक्ट का स्कोर दो ये मैं वे बैक जब कार्बोकोटाइन का स्टेबिलिटी पढ़ा था रिंग में तब बताया था कि मेटा पे सिर्फ इंडक्टिव इफेक्ट काम करेगा एंड इफ इट्स ओनली माइनस वाई इट इज बैड फॉर दी हेल्थ ऑफ कार्बोकोटाइन सो दैट वुड बी मेकिंग इट अनस्टेबल एंड बी वुड बी द लीस्ट स्टेबल ए इज दी बेंच मार्क एंड डी वुड बी दी मोर स्टेबल यस और नो You should be up with the right answer and the right explanation as well. You should be up with the right answer and the right explanation. I think people online are able to understand me loud and clear. Hey, 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 yes, sir. Eighteen. Eighteen is see as simple as it sounds, and as I told you, in due course you'll want to go by your experiences, and nothing better than the experience of real exam questions because you have to apply the experience in the same exam. So in question one we concluded in in, in question one we concluded that a normal alcohol is a weak nucleophile, and SN one would be via a carbocation, and a carbocation would certainly 
like a, a rearrangement, yes or no? And by this time, it should be very trivial. Yes or no? 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 You have a doubt, you want to ask me? Else, let's move to question 19. Sir, option C. Nineteen C straight away is about the stability of carbocation. Nineteen C straight away is about the stability of carbocation. Question twenty. Sir, option A. Twenty A is again straight away about the fact that when you see the energy profile, when you see the energy profile, when you see the energy profile of this kind, you know if this is activation energy one. And if this is activation energy 1 and if this is activation energy 2 and very clearly if this is a higher hill, if this is a higher hill, if this is a higher hill, if this is a lower hill and you can, you can understand E activation energy 1 is more than E activation energy 2, this would certainly mean K2 is more than K1 or K1 is with respect to this close step. When this close, this was the fast step, which may carbon carbon yes or no? So this would be for? SN1. Do people understand SN2 ke liye something like this would be expected? Yes or no? I don't know elimination reaction to study the elimination reaction. Have you video of Halo Form? Comfortable? I will give a hard copy. I will do a solution solution. And I find people getting a huge sigh of relief. So I'll let you people run away after completing the next five questions. All right. So you'll want to escape after question 25 is over with a problem sheet, which we'll discuss tomorrow for 40, 45 minutes at most. Most of the questions would be understood from the theory class. Maybe, you know, a few very, very unique cases, you know, which will require my input. And only for the advanced exam, it would be out of, you know, the regular literature, which we'll want to know in tomorrow's session. But make sure that you know everything about Adderform before you come tomorrow. 21. Twenty one. So, as simple as it sounds, you know, bromine would go and OH minus would come. And if it's a wedge, this would be a DAP because it's SN2. So which is the right option? Option C is the right option because this is the same as both represented by I will tell you, paper you know it, you nail it, you get the right answer, just don't get very lackadaisical. Don't end up making a stupid mistake. You know, you'll just need a bit of calmness and maturity. I don't think there is anything, you know, which is very, very challenging here. No derivation. Very simple, basic fact to be remembered. And such questions should keep you happy. 22. Sir, option D. Matlab, compound A hai upper 2 chloro. B is here, 1 chloro, and 3 is here, 4 is here. So, that's really C more than A more than B, yes or no? Or rather, 3 more than, 1 more than 2. Option B. 
23 sir option b 23 option b bombay b bombay everybody knows this 23 b bombay as simple as it sounds 24 option a 24 option a any doubt dakt babu vedant tiwari jay pande kaur agarwal to ask her last week sunday ko mai class de diya print out kiya this problem sheet ka ha question copy kar liya that's a lot of hard work you have that copy with you right now i was expecting <laughs> 25 so next day you come the option the all the questions written up tough luck man 25 option a or or a print out or a print out or a print out will do 25 option a 25 a agra certainly because between this carbocation and this carbocation and this carbocation a b and c b is the most stable because it stabilized by resonance allylic b more than c more than a option a is right with this we come to the end of the problem sheet and the end of the class today so people online will 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 talk uh, tomorrow uh, please see the class on hello form no everything about hello form test i'm going to give you a hard copy of the problem sheet right now people attending online will want to get a print out of the same